Now, according to AAA, the average price of gas in America is $4.04 per gallon. Joining us now is the author of Big Green Purse, uh, Diane Macarin, and also the director of pricing and information for opusnet.com. Ben Brockwell is uh, with us. You know, Diane, one of the things that's frustrating to me is when you look at the breakdown the cost of a gallon of gasoline, 79% is directly rated to, related to the uh, crude oil price, the price per barrel of oil. 15% of what we pay is in the form of taxes. Only 4% goes to these evil oil companies. The government does nothing for their money. The oil companies do exploration. They extract the crude. They bring it to refineries. They deliver it to our gas stations. Why is it? Why is the anger? How have the politicians shifted the anger from them uh, to the oil companies? I find that outrageous. Well, you know, I don't really think that's the issue. I mean, I think public policy has failed us since 1973. We saw this coming in 1973 with that first oil embargo. Yeah. And really, what we should have been doing is figuring out how we can meet our transportation needs with a variety of fuel options and not just sink everything into the oil market. So here we are now, really, 25 years, yeah. 35 years later, the situation hasn't improved. I don't think anybody should be surprised by the fix that we're in. I don't think, and you know what the scary thing is, is that if you look at, you know, the attack today, they tried to put this windfall profit tax on these oil companies here. You know what's amazing to me is that, you know, Jimmy Carter set aside ANWR for the very purpose of exploration. Ronald Reagan first called for it when he was president. Bill Clinton vetoed the bill that would have allowed drilling in ANWR in 95. We would be getting a million barrels a day in America. And now the same people that, that are beholden to environmental extremists, now they want to blame the oil companies. Well, How, you know, Jim, hang on, uh, uh, Diane, this Jimmy, is yeah, the Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter didn't set apart the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for oil drilling. He created the, Na the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to protect the last 5% of the coastal plain yeah, but, from oil drilling. But in part for it, exploration. But hang on, one, this was for Ben. Go ahead. Well, I, I, all I was going to add is the biggest hypocrisy that's going on in this whole debate is that we are asking our foreign uh, suppliers to increase their production at a time when we're unwilling to do the same thing. So at least exactly. we ought to consider it as an option. And the people in the oil industry who produce this petroleum uh, are frustrated by that hypocrisy. It is wrong for President Bush to go to Saudi Arabia mm. and ask for their That's increased awful. production. That's I don't understand. And then on this hand, at least not considered as an option to open up uh, other Diane, other I don't understand. Republicans had eight years where they've had basically Republican House, Republican Senate, Republican President for the most part. They did nothing about drilling then. Now they want to complain and blame Democrats for not doing enough. Didn't they have the opportunity over the a number of years to do something about it? I, you know, I suppose, but the reason why there's no drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge right now is because the American people do not support drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It is a national wildlife refuge. Right. We could get the same amount of oil just by pumping up our tires. You right. know, let's keep our tires pumped up, and that oil's available to us today. Right. Say we did decide to drill in the Arctic National Wildlife right. Refuge, we wouldn't get that oil for right. 10 and years, ben, how, and it would only reduce prices well, by 4 cents. Let me get Ben in here if I get Ben, we, and it would take 10 years, plus we don't know how much we would get, do we? We don't know how much involved it would be to get that oil, how much we would get if we could get it, and, and how productive the whole thing well, was. Well, I think, I think it's pretty well known that there's a lot of oil uh, that can be uh, tapped in a lot the of places. The Oceanological Survey says six uh, months worth of oil. Well, but by any calculation, no, that's what they it's, say. It's, it's, it's a couple yeah, of trillion. That's what the U.S. Geological uh, Survey no, well, no, well, I think no, yes, no. yes. Well, it's 30 <laughs> years equivalent oil of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> the Radio. U.S. Geological. Oh, we got North Dakota. We excuse got oil me, Mr. Shell. Hannity. We've got, we've can we get rid of the guests that you and I can fight? You want to get rid of the guests and you and I talk? This is six months worth of oil. You can use math and you can use numbers any, yeah. way, any way you want to. The fact of the matter is there is petroleum in the ground that can be accessed if we have the will and the and the. Uh, uh, but as uh, you're pointing policy, out, Diane, there are uh, other to ways that. to do it that would not involve going into the tundra where you don't know what you're going to get. Well, my point really is that we need to think about transportation and not yeah. about oil. As long right. as we're just focused on oil, we're going to be mired All in right, the Middle Jeff. East. We're going to be focused Sir on drilling in places where we shouldn't we, be. Uh, thank you both very much.